Hello folks, this is uh, 2021, <clears throat> May, June, paper 1-2, sorry, this is not May, June actually, it is February, March, I forgot this, so it is February, March, February, March, May, June, <clears throat> uh, May, June exams are just there and uh, their questions will be coming on the result day only, so it is uh, February, March, paper 1-2 and the question number is uh, 29, it is concerned with the chapter uh, superposition, and as you can see, diffraction grating here, it belongs to diffraction. A beam of a red laser light of a wavelength 633 nanometer, so lambda, is incident normally on a diffraction grating with 600, 600 lines per millimeter. So we name it as large N. Now the beam of a red light is now replaced by a beam of blue laser light of wavelength this much. So that means we have two wavelengths, so I name it as lambda 1 and this is lambda 2. Two. A replacement diffraction grating is used, so that means first we change the light, frequency of light, and then we change the grating. grating. So, that, so that the first order maximum of the blue light, which is the later one, later one, appears at the same position as the, on the screen as the first order maximum of the red light. So that means, uh, the angle at which the angle at which first order is formed is same is same because it has to form in the same location whether the light is red or blue by <clears throat> changing one thing or the other we have to make sure that the first order maximum will be at the same position which means this angle is same for both cases so now we have to find how many lines per millimeter are there in the replacement diffraction grating so here it is in we have another n here, so it is n1 and this is n2 and we need to find this n2. So let's uh, get go for the equation. The equation that we have is d sine theta is equal to n lambda for a diffraction grating. So d is the <coughs> distance between each groups there, gap and blocks and gaps and blocks like that. So d is the distance between one gap and another gap or we can say one block and another block and so theta is the angle formed by the rays with the uh, with a straight line, zero order, n is the order of the uh, maxima, first order, second order, zero order, and so on, lambda is the wavelength. So since we are talking here only of the first order, we can say that <coughs> n equal to 1, so it should be lambda. Now this d also changes to, this d is equal to 1 by n, so it is, our equation is 1 by n sine theta is equal to lambda. So for the first case, we have got 1 by n1 sine theta is equal to lambda 1 and in the second case we have got 1 by n2 sine theta is equal to lambda 2. So let's divide uh, this equation by this. So it gives us 1 by n1 sine theta by 1 by n2 sine theta will be equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2. So this, this goes which gives us n2 by n1 is equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2 or I can say or I can say n2 is equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2 into n1 so this gives us lambda 1 is 600 sorry it is uh, sorry 633 nanometer nano means 10 to power minus 3 then we have got lambda 2 is equal to 445 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus, oh, nano means 9, it is 9, minus 9, minus 9, into, into, I have got this N1. So, so this N1 is 600 lines per millimeter, lines per millimeter. So when I cancel this and this and when I do the multiple in the calculator, so it is, uh, 633 into uh, 600 divided 445 equal to here it is uh, 850.48 something uh, so if I round it off it is 850 850 so I have got choice number D is the correct choice it is 850.48 something like that so our correct choice should be 850 per millimeter I don't need to change this thing because everything is given in millimeter per millimeter. I don't even uh, uh, have to write this thing. It cancels, but simply uh, I just wanted to uh, wanted to follow the principle that everything needs to be changed to SI. So I did this, and here I did, did didn't change it because the answers were in per millimeter. So this is the correct answer.